most nurses will be involved in caring for a dying person at some point in their careers. For some, it's a temporary event, but for others, particularly those working within palliative care, it makes up the bulk of their workload. Caring for dying patients can be stressful. Nurses need to be able to manage their own stress to deliver a good standard of care to their patients. Stress can come from any situation or thought that makes you feel angry, nervous or anxious. Stress is a reaction to change. Common stresses include relationship pressures like divorce or separation. Others include health, moving house or relocating, and work-related stress like starting a new job or retrenchment. Stress can be negative or positive. Although it helps us to rise to the challenges we face, it can become a problem when it starts to affect the way we cope with day-to-day -day life. To manage our stress more effectively, we need to learn not only what is causing our stress, but also to understand the factors that affect how we deal with stress. I think that when we, usually when nurses get into the industry, we, we get into it for reasons of wanting to help people. And sometimes we, for no, no fault of our own, or anyone's fault for that matter, we're unable to make an impact on people. So that can impact upon us as individuals because we feel as though we're not having the desired effect or we're not able to help that person to the degree that we would like to. And that can then lead us to ask questions about what our viability is. Um, are we really doing the sort of work that we're, that we're, 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 wanting, we're wanting to do? Are we having, being as beneficial and as effective as we would like to be with our patients? So those sorts of things can, can ask us a whole lot of questions which sometimes we don't like the answer to.